All right, I think we're doing day 14. Nope, I take that back. We're doing day 15. So here we go. Day 15 is maple matcha. Roar. And uh, just so we can get it out of the way, day 16 is the scoop. Um, which actually, let's go ahead and use so I can see how many grams are in their scoop. I really feel like the scoop should have been day one. Uh, anyway. So. Step one. The pouch is 16 grams of stuff. Tear the mug. The smell is sweet, syrupy, maple, uh, and the price tag just came off. Shouldn't be surprised by that. All right, so one of their Scoopies is two grams. So I've been under matcha -ing stuff. We're not shocked, are we? Their stuff does seem to do better when you over matcha. I'm going to go for my normal eight just for consistency. And we ended up with nine. Let me take some out. There we go. And now it's all powdery, so we'll put that in there so we can get it full of clean. We've got 165 degree water and eight and a half grams of powder. First, get my spoon clean. It's got the olive drab color, but this one's probably a little bit lighter, brighter green than some of the other ones. Nice. Smell is just vegetal. I lost that hint of sweetness that was in the powder. Taste, on the other hand, is sweet, hint of maple, vegetal spring, hint bitter at the finish. Let's go ahead and add a little more powder. I guess that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're buying their matcha, uh, you're going to be using more than you should or would with a normal unflavored matcha. But if that's the way you like to have your tea, I mean, some of them are super tasty. Yeah, definitely a stronger maple coming through. Still just a hint bitter at the finish. 
This is super tasty. I might go Frankenstein and mix together the odds and ends that I have uh, for some of them uh, to finish things off. But anyway, back to work. <laughs>